Well, I am back with another in my series of mean comments videos. This is the sixth in the series. What will people say now and how will I react? Stay tuned to find out. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is that you get to see my community posts, which show up on the homepage of your YouTube page. They show up on the your YouTube homepage. There you go. That's where I share information about special finds and deals, sales, discount codes on these things we love. All right, let's get into this mean comments video. And let me start by saying something that I keep forgetting until the end of the last few videos, which is that a lot of these aren't necessarily mean comments. Some are just comments that I want to address. And the purpose of these videos is not to call out the people that are leaving negative comments because I don't give anybody's names. Um, and these comments are no longer on my videos. I screenshot them, I put them in a mean comments folder, I keep them to do these videos, but I delete them from the videos themselves. And the reason for that is that I don't want people to go back and leave mean comments for those people. I don't want the cycle of negativity to continue. I just chop it off. So that is not the purpose to go back and find these people and say mean things to them or to defend me or whatever, because you guys are really sweet about defending me. It's also not to justify myself to these people. The purpose of these videos has become sharing with you guys how you can deal maybe in a more healthy way when you get mean comments, because we're all on social media at this point. Well, most of us are. Well, everybody here is, right? You're all watching YouTube. And be it Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever social media account you may have, at some point you're likely to get a mean comment, uh, whether it be from someone you know or from a stranger. And the ones from strangers are especially difficult to deal with if you're not used to them because, I don't know, it just gets under your skin. And you can have a thousand really nice, supportive, complimentary comments, but there will be that one negative one and that is what sticks with you. So I do these videos because I've been through that and now I am past that. These mean comments don't bother me at all, but they do make for good video content on this channel and you guys seem to like this series of videos so that's why I keep saving them and doing more videos. So I hope that makes sense. It's more about people who don't deal with the comments well, hopefully seeing how I deal with them can help you deal with them better, if that makes sense, or help you um, not take the mean comments so personally. Because the main point here, that I, if you're gonna leave with anything, leave with this. The mean comments that people leave for you are not about you. They are a reflection of those people. We'll talk about that, you'll see why. Let's start with these. These are some of the most obvious comments that are about them and not me. I have a folder of mean comments called appearance. I've been collecting these for the last few months. I have four comments about my appearance. So let's go through these. One of them says, and this is a person that I think I have since blocked because every comment she was leaving was negative and rude. And if that's all you have to say is negative rude things, then bye bye. I don't need you around here. So this person said, and I'll read these verbatim, even if the grammar is poor, why you need to be in YouTube to do unboxing. And there's also no punctuation in this, so it's a little difficult to read, except at the very end there's a question mark. Why you need to be in YouTube to unboxing? I didn't get it why you are not wearing makeup? Question mark. That last bit, it sounds like two sentences here. Why you need to be in YouTube to unboxing? That's a question. And then the second one, I, I didn't get it why you are not wearing makeup. That's not a question, but there's still a question mark at the end. Okay, so first of all, there's that. So why you need to be in YouTube to unboxing? Well, because there is a whole community of people who unbox things on the internet, on YouTube specifically, and there's a whole community of people who like to watch those videos. 
And that's what this luxury community that I'm part of does a lot of, is unboxing things on YouTube. So that's why I'm doing that. And then I don't get it why you're not wearing makeup. I don't get it why that's a problem for you. I do have a video where I explained some of the reasons that I don't wear makeup, and I actually do. I have a powder foundation on just to take some of the shininess off my skin because I have really bright lights, and because I tend to have a red undertone to my skin, so I wear this to get rid of some of that redness for the camera. But I'm not going into all the reasons I don't wear makeup. I don't need to. That's the main one. I don't want to, even more importantly. Yeah, there's a whole video on that. If anybody's interested, I can link it below. Um, next comment about my appearance. Spend your money on a decent pair of glasses. This is on a video about a luxury card holder comparison. I don't think I talked in that video about my glasses, so this person has no idea what I spent on them. It sounds like they want me to spend... It sounds like they think that these are cheap and they want me to buy a more expensive pair. I don't understand the relationship between the price of glasses and the decentness of them. I also didn't realize that my glasses are indecent, so somebody help me out there. If if there's something indecent about my glasses, please tell me. But I know that like prescription glasses, these are readers which work perfectly well for me and they are very cheap because I know how to find cheap readers that look nice to me. I've gotten plenty of compliments on these glasses, actually, that also work perfectly well. I'm able to see and read things, which is the purpose of the glasses. I do not need to spend, these were probably $10, maybe less. I don't need to spend 700 or whatever on a more expensive pair that does exactly the same thing. I would rather put my money into a handbag. I don't know why this person thinks these are indecent and why they think a more expensive pair would be decent. Confusing. That's another thing with these people is they'll make a comment like that but they don't explain it. They don't explain their reasoning behind it. This is a good example of that. This person says, you need braces. First of all, no, I don't. I don't. But that's all they said. You need braces. They didn't say why. There are many reasons that someone could need braces. Um, they didn't explain why they think I need them. It also has nothing to do with the video, which is five bags Louis Vuitton should never have redesigned. We never talked about teeth in that video. And it also, I don't know, that, that gets onto something that is something that has gotten on my nerves as the years have gone on and I see mostly people on television and movies and stuff that have those perfect white, very white smiles. It kind of gets on my nerves because it's so unnatural, which is another reason I don't wear makeup. I don't like that. I, I don't like that look of the false, blindingly bright teeth. It's not normal. And I'm not criticizing people who, who do that if you like that look for yourself. I would say don't push that look on other people because even if you think it looks good and you think it looks better than natural teeth, um, not everyone agrees with that. And then the fourth appearance comment is it's kind of weird that she likes fancy bags but wears zero makeup, no lipstick, and dress like a librarian. Again, the makeup thing. I don't understand, because I've gotten many comments, and if you watch all the mean comments videos, you'll see comments like this over and over again. For some reason, people think that if you like designer handbags, that you also have to look a very specific way. You have to wear makeup, for example and you have to have your hair a certain way, and none of that is true. All kinds of people enjoy fancy bags, as this person calls them, and these people look all kinds of different ways. Liking fancy bags, owning fancy bags, purchasing them, whatever, collecting them, does not require that you look a certain way. Anyone who looks any way can like those things, and buy those things, and enjoy those things, and collect those things. Why some people cannot wrap their mind around that baffles me. This is a comment that actually is still up, but I won't tell you what video it's on. I responded to this one instead of deleting it, and the person has not responded back at this point, at the, at the point of me filming this video. Oh, and she ends it by saying um, that I dress like a librarian. Okay, so I'm gonna put a few pictures up here of librarians, and I'd like to know which one of these librarians I look like. And I'd also like to know what this person thinks librarians look like, because I know quite a few librarians at schools and at um, medical hospital libraries and at public libraries, and they all dress differently and we don't look alike. What I wrote back to this person is, what's, I'll read her comment again. She says, it's kind of weird that she likes fancy bags but wears zero makeup, no lipstick, 
and dress like a librarian. Also lipstick is makeup so there's really no need to say no makeup and no lipstick. It's unnecessarily repetitive. So I wrote back, what's weird about it? Sounds like you have a very limited and misguided image in your head of what a person with fancy bags should look like. And librarians. I really don't understand that. Next. Now the rest of these are in no particular order. This next one, this person, it's funny, I think. This person says, Autumn, do you know there are ads cutting into your videos? <laughs> they are very disruptive. Is there a way of putting them in the beginning and end of the video instead? Thanks. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do know there are ads in my videos and there is a way to only put them in the beginning and end. However, this YouTube thing that I do is a second job for me and one of the ways that I earn income from that is from those ads. I put them in the videos. Um, I do know that there are people out there who don't like that. However, personally, even if I wasn't making money on YouTube, um, I feel like when I watch a video and there are ads in it, that's just part of the YouTube experience. I also feel like, especially since I do make videos and I know how much time goes into them and how much effort goes into them, the people making the videos should do whatever they can to make as much money as they possibly can doing it because it is so very time consuming and if you don't make YouTube videos or other videos um, on a regular basis and I do three videos a week which is a lot in addition to a full-time demanding job, there's nothing wrong with that. There are people that seem to think that people shouldn't make money from YouTube and I find this especially in the luxury handbag community. You know, um, people, there are some people, I won't name names, who complain about ads and videos and who complain about affiliate links. And an affiliate link, if you don't know, that's like when I say, you know, oh, I've unboxed this Tory Burch pouch and I have it linked below. Some of those links will be affiliate links. And when you click on them and you make a purchase on that website, myself in this case, would earn a small, very small percentage of that sale. Over time, with enough sales that can add up, never a ton of money. There's some people that have a problem with that and I really don't understand it. That's like saying, I don't know, take, take anything that, take anything. <laughs> that it's like saying, you know, you're a teacher, you shouldn't earn money for doing that because you should just do it because you enjoy it. You're a doctor, you shouldn't earn money for that. Or you're a plumber, you shouldn't earn money from that. It's something that you went into because you enjoyed it and so you shouldn't charge people for that. It's, it's ridiculous. If you do work, it's okay to make money from that work and no one should have a problem with that. I know that advertising in videos can be disruptive, it can be annoying to some people just like ads on television, but they're there for the same purpose, they're earning someone money. There's nothing wrong with earning a living. All right, this person, I unboxed a coach bag in an oxblood color and this person's comment just says, boring oxblood. Okay. Um, this person says, every time I hear her say luxurious, it makes me cringe. I get that she wants her money's worth, but there's a difference. That's just my opinion, please no hate. Okay, so if you know that this is a comment, and I don't know what video this was on because I forgot to screenshot that part of it. I'm gonna guess it's on a video that where it wasn't a luxury brand, like maybe it was a coach video or something. She says, please no hate, which means she's expecting to get hate. So why would you even post something that you expect to get negative reactions from? That I don't understand. Next person says about a coach unboxing that I did. Actually, it's four coach unboxings. And this person said, it's ugly. I have no idea which of the four items she's talking about or why she thinks it's ugly, but you know, rude. It doesn't bother me though. These people, I mean like, who does that? This is part of the, the purpose of these videos too. Like most of us would not go to someone else's YouTube channel or social media or whatever, or up to somebody in real life and say, your bag, it's so ugly. Like who does that? Or go up to somebody and say, you need to spend more money on glasses or you need to wear makeup or, you know, it just, pff, these people have problems. All right, this one, ugh, 
people. This was on a mean comments video. I must have been talking about a, another video where I talked about Black Lives Matter, about the protests over the summer of 2020. And this person writes a paragraph and says, I realize that this particular video was limited in its scope to the discussion of mean comments left, because this was on a mean comments video. The person says, I've watched a few random videos of yours, as some of the content has interested me. I won't bother anymore, however. Where does Black Lives Matter fit in with the purview of your channel? Dog whistle? Sorry, lowering yourself to fawn over a Marxist organization, they put in quotations, that believes that it's racist to say all lives matter, parentheses, to which many of us, <clears throat> which to many of us is a great deal more tolerant and inclusive, end parentheses, is a lost cause you should have left alone. I agree that discussing political things is out, generally outside the purview of my channel. However, it connected in the video where I talked about that, and it's connected in other videos where I've talked about racism. It's my channel, I can talk about anything I want to talk about. I am very political, I have strong political opinions. Uh, if you've watched my channel, those videos in particular, I'm sure you can figure out my leanings. And I would say for the point here about the All Lives Matter versus Black Lives Matter, just as far as slogans or whatever. I totally can understand where the person is coming from here and the people who say all lives matter. I get it. I, I understand how you see that that sounds more tolerant and inclusive because when you compare Black Lives Matter to All Lives Matter, it does, right? The thing is with the Black Lives Matter comment, it's really supposed to be Black Lives Matter too, like also. It's not Black Lives only matter or only black lives matter black lives matter is all lives matter it's just that a lot of people and i'm going to say this speaking from my personal experience of the people that i know that say all lives matter a lot of those people even though they say that and they say they're not racist they don't actually believe that black lives matter as much as white lives okay and I found that to be my personal experience and the people that I know, but, and not all of them, but that's uh, generally the case. And I found it to be the case, generally speaking, and people I don't know too, just what I observe of the world, or at least America. I also, this person may not know this because I probably didn't talk about it in the mean comments video, but I have a background in social and personality psychology and the school that I went to, uh, we did a lot of research on race and other marginalized populations. So it may not be within the purview, generally speaking, of a luxury handbag channel, but it's definitely within the purview of Autumn Beckman to speak about these things and to speak with some authority about it. I, I am not black, I cannot speak to that lived experience, but I have a lot of understanding and knowledge and empathy, not just the black community, but of people who are different from me in different ways. I think that probably comes across in a lot of the videos that I do where I talk about things like we're talking about in the mean comments videos. So while I can understand to some degree this person's point here, I did want to address that. Definitely not a dog whistle, um, just something I believe strongly in and have talked about several times on my channel. Also, I'm a teacher, so I try to educate. And yep, I think that's it. This person also said that they've watched a few of my videos and they won't bother anymore. That's fine. You know, if you are watching any YouTube channel, if I'm watching any, any YouTube channel and I decide, oh, I don't like this channel for whatever reason, I don't like the personality of the person, I don't like the content, whatever, I will stop watching that channel, just like this person is gonna stop watching my channel. That's fine. You are free to do that. It doesn't hurt my feelings. And I understand why this person said all these things to me, but generally speaking, when you leave a channel, I see this in Facebook groups. This is not an airline. You don't have to announce your departure. Right? I think that's funny. All right, next comment. Oh, this one is so weird. This person says, I haven't been your subscriber, but I come across your videos sometimes. Your eyes don't sparkle no matter what kind of bag you show. Is it about the tiny things or is there something else? And this was a coach unboxing video. I'm not sure what she means or he means. Is it about the tiny things or is there something else? I don't know what 
I don't know what that means. I don't know how to address that. When this person says your eyes don't sparkle no matter what kind of bag you show, I would agree with that. A few things here. First of all, like, do I need to insert some kind of Instagram filter thing that makes my eyes sparkle? Because our eyes don't naturally sparkle, so I'm not sure what exactly they're looking for here. If they're looking for some level of excitement that I don't convey, that's probably just my personality. When I get excited about something, I generally don't show it outwardly very much. I tend to be pretty calm and mellow and introverted. I was watching one of Yota Styles' videos the other day, one of my YouTube besties, the guy was watching it with me, and he was listening to her. She opened this little Prada bag that had sparkly things on it, little crystals, and he was like, man, is that a holy grail bag for her? She sounds like it's the best bag she's ever seen and she's in love with it and so excited about it. And I was like, no, it's just another Thursday for Yota, you know? She has a kind of personality where she gets really excited about things and expresses that verbally and sometimes even physically. Uh, like through her facial expressions and stuff. I just don't, that's not me. And if you're somebody who doesn't like watching a luxury YouTuber unbox things and get that excited, um, then I'm not the right channel for you. I guess I think it's funny that people expect, again, they expect you to be a certain way when it comes to luxury handbags. You know, people are different, what can I say? Oh, speaking of Yota, this is the unboxing of, I don't have it in front of me here, but the unboxing of the little silver YSL card holder that I purchased from Yota that I had wanted for a year or two, and it's really hard to find on the pre-loved market, like I've never seen it and she had one, so I mentioned to her quite a few times that if she ever got tired of that piece that I would love to buy it from her, and she finally did sell it to me, and, and in the video where I unboxed it, I was jokingly, to, well, to some degree, I was over-exaggerating how much I was uh, asking her about this piece and saying, you know, she finally sold it to me and all this. So this person says, and she knows that Yota and I are friends because she watches both, both of our videos. She said, you badgered a very kind and giving friend over an item she still used. Did you consider for a moment that Yota only offered it to you to stop your relentless begging? I've followed you both for several years, so I get there's a friendship, but your actions are not only disturbing and in poor taste, but it also shows you have become very entitled. And that is no way to treat a good friend. Wow this comment, I sent it to Yota because I know the situation, the relationship between Yota and I. I know that the way this lady's describing what happened is not how it went down, and Yota knows it's not how it went down. So I sent this comment to Yota so she was aware of it and she could address it with me, and she's like, that's ridiculous, that's not what happened. She actually addressed this comment in a video that she did. I definitely exaggerated in my unboxing video because I tend to do that when I'm talking about Yota. This person says, did you consider for a moment Yota only offered it to you to stop your relentless begging? I absolutely did. And that, that it was an item she still used. Yes, I was aware of all of that because I am a very aware person. I am conscious of other people's experiences. When she finally said, I'll sell it to you, I was like, wait, but you're still using it. Are you sure you wanna do that? I mean, I, I was trying to stop her from selling it to me. I was really trying to make sure, she was really sure that she wanted to sell it to me, she was okay with that. And I also told her, if you do sell it to me and you change your mind and you want it back, just let me know and I'll sell it back to you, right, for what I paid for it. But Yota's response was, no, I know that you really want this piece. It's, I like it, but it's, you know, this unicorn piece to me like it is to you and I want you to have it. I also know that Yota's very generous. Um, she's been generous with me before, and I've also been generous with her. We're generous, we are generous with each other. So that was another reason I was trying to make sure that she wanted to sell it to me. And she did, and she's happy with it. I'm happy with it. We're both happy with it. And this lady, she she wasn't trying to be mean. I think she was really just trying to stick up for, for Yota here. She just completely misinterpreted what happened, is all. Okay, this one, this is really weird. Um, this is on a video called What Fits Clear Flap Bag. So this is where I have, I just did a video last week about clear bags, another one like this, 
where I have clear bags and I put pouches in them to make them look nice and instead of just throwing your junk in there, right? This person says, this lady is a perfectionist. She is sadly setting herself up for failure. You don't have to be perfect. Nice bag. So I am a perfectionist, that's true. Vincent is pretending to be a blue jay in the other room. Pardon the blue jay in the other room, please. Where she says you don't have to be perfect. I can appreciate her saying that because it sounds like she's trying to look out for my audience here. You know, when you, it, it's sort of like when you see something on Instagram and we've all heard how if you just scroll through Instagram all day, you'll think your life is terrible and the people on Instagram have these perfect, beautiful lives. But that's because, of course, the Instagram photos are staged and it's a little fraction in time and their lives are not perfect. So maybe that's where this person is coming from. They're seeing this little fraction where a bag looks nice and they're assuming from this that I'm a perfectionist and they're right in at least in some things, and a lot I'm not. But it's true, you don't have to be perfect. I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect. Um, so it's nice of her to look out for people like that. But where she says, I'm a perfectionist and I'm setting myself up for failure, that part's kind of rude. So I don't know where she's getting that I'm setting myself up for failure because I want my bag to look nice. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But of course, again, these people don't explain themselves for the most part. Okay, this one also makes no sense to me because if you are a regular viewer of my channel, I don't think anybody would agree with this. And this is an unboxing of my Louis Vuitton Damier Azur mini pochette that I purchased recently. This person says, Ugh, here she goes again, showing off as usual. Sorry we are not made out money. Again, I'm reading this verbatim. I really respect you, but when you act like you're better than the average person, that's when I disconnect you. Please humble yourself sometimes, Miss Sassy Pants. Well, let's hope we can be baller status like you, Missy. So I don't know what I did to deserve that comment. Um, it's pretty hilarious because I'm never showing off. If you know me and you watch my channel, I, I don't do any of this to show off. Um, I do it because I enjoy the luxury pieces. Like in this case, Louis Vuitton. I know that a lot of people like watching those videos, so I have a channel about it. And I also know that I try to give a lot of information and people learn from my channel. People tell me all the time that they've learned things from my channel. I don't know what this is about. I don't know when I've acted like I'm better than the average person. I, I am the average person. So humble myself. I'm very humble. I have a dry sense of humor and I joke around sometimes in a sarcastic way that a lot of people don't understand. That's something I've learned from YouTube is that a lot of people, a lot more people than I thought, do not understand sarcasm. They don't have a grasp of it, they don't recognize it. And I think that's sad because in that case you miss out on a lot. Yeah, humble myself, miss sassy pants, that's great. Baller status, yeah. Now the baller status thing, the, the buying of Louis Vuitton luxury pieces, that's all financially relative, right? They're, this person's telling me, oh, you've got so much money to buy this stuff, you're so rich or whatever. You're balling, right? Other people tell me, uh, you don't wear makeup, you dress like a librarian, and you shouldn't have fancy bags because you are not wealthy enough. You get it from both sides. You can't please everyone, not that I try. I just do what I do, and people who watch, watch, and if they enjoy it, they keep watching, and if they don't, they leave, and some of them leave me mean comments on the way out. This person, this is a weird one. She says, okay, well, I'm glad you have left comments open on this video. It doesn't matter which video it was because it almost made me not view you favor favorably. It was the video about you wanting to get your pre-loved luggage tag monogrammed. I did this video where I got a luggage tag off a pre-loved website. I took it to Louis Vuitton. They told me it was fake. At some point, I turned comments off on that video. That was a long time ago that I did that. I don't even remember why I did it. Probably because that's my most viewed video of all time and it drew a lot of people in. And when you draw a lot of people in, you get a lot of people who leave mean comments and 
It was probably uh, the same video where I got some really nasty comments and I probably just got tired of dealing with it so I shut the comments off on that one video. I think it's the only video where I don't have comments turned on. Anyway, this person continues to say, glad you opted to simply block the jerks rather than all of us. If you don't understand or care about what I'm saying here, maybe this analogy will help. It's like going into a convenience store, needing to use the restroom, but are told they're not in service or they don't have one. Why do I want to give my business to a company who doesn't care to provide this basic accommodation to their customers? There are people like myself who will be more than happy to call the jerks out on their comments. So first of all, the analogy doesn't work for me. If you go into a gas station to use the restroom, that doesn't help the gas station's business. They need you to buy something. So they're not required to provide you with a restroom. That's not their business. That is a bonus thing that they offer to you for free. It's a lot of work for them to maintain this free bathroom for you. And a lot of people go into the convenience store, use the bathroom, and don't buy anything. So again, that just doesn't help the business. I have comments on on most of, well, on all of my videos except that one, to my knowledge. I am not required to have comments on in any of my videos. Allowing comments is not a service that I provide. It's not something that anyone is owed. So I really don't understand why she's so upset that comments were turned off on this one video. She's so upset to the point that she goes to another video to complain to me about it. Who does that? Doesn't make sense. And then she ends by saying people like me um, are more than happy to call the jerks out. But I don't want that. That's, I, as I explained at the beginning of this video, all that does is build more negativity on top of negativity and negativity breeds negativity and that's not what this channel is about. We're not trying to be negative. We are trying to be positive and enjoy these things and learn about the things, you know. That, what she's talking about is just not what my channel is about. And she also doesn't stop to consider why I might have turned comments off in the other video, because there are a number of reasons that people would do that. This person on a coach unboxing says, was here for the bags, took way too long for me to get there. So apparently I talked too much in that video, and I know I'm talking too much in response to some of these, and this video is way, way long at this point. So I'm gonna wrap it up here, and that's my last comment anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope to see you back here next time. I hope your loved ones and you are doing well. I hope that this video will help you deal with mean comments better. Just keep in mind, again, they are not about you. They are about the people leaving the comments and their weird, misguided, rude, whatever way of thinking. And with that, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.